we as human beings are leaving our fingerprints in text we are writing. Even a short text as titles, you can discover something about our background, gender, uh, mother tongue, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it could be used practically to many different problems, like uh, fake news or propaganda or discovering internet trolls, for example. The other area which I think are promising is a, a forensic area, and because uh, uh, it could detect the authorship, for example who was the author and, and use it, and also uh, plagiarism, okay? because you can detect that a given sequence of, 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 uh, uh, of words or given sequence of sentences are coming from the different style, okay? Just pure gender attribution for books. Okay, this is a very classical approach, but the techniques could be used to analyze different things coming from the fake news uh, through for example, very popular nowadays in Poland among companies, brand analysis. I think the biggest problem is the lack of conferences. Okay, we have online conferences, but the conference is not just a presentation of your work, meeting after. We are meeting during the break on the coffee. I'm listening to somebody and it's okay, he or she is doing more or less the same. Oh, I have the problem. So I could contact with him talk, go to the pub and talk and talk. And the, the lack of contacts, I think is the biggest drawback. Online meetings are okay for all the established teams. Okay, we are, we are, I am doing a meeting sometimes even each one hour, okay? But to, to create a new team, to create new ideas, this is the problem because we have to meet somehow, okay? Uh, I have to be aware that there exists a person on the air that is doing things I'm interested in. I could say what is important, not distinguished, okay, important from my point of view, and what I really like in our Clarion PL. Uh, first of all, I think our bidirectional approach. So when we are trying or we are solving problems, we are on one hand, going from the bottom up. So we are doing some NLP tools because we are uh, computer engineers, we are researching that area, and we are finding some application for it and showing uh, that tools, that application to researchers. And uh, because they could not be aware that such algorithms exist, but also we are doing from the other way. Uh, during meetings, uh, we are trying to find their needs, and we are trying to uh, solve the problems using tools or, or de developing new tools, okay? So, so the ideas on one hand are coming from researchers to application, on the other from end user to application. And because of that bidirectional approach, uh, on one hand, it could be useful because we are solving real problems, but also the tools could be useful in the future because we are using the newest algorithms and showing people that uh, that such tools exist because scientists even if they are aware of clary if they are aware of our tools they have to understand how when to use them what are drawbacks and advantages so they need a knowledge i think a very important aspect in our case is that, that we are not only working with uh, university guides with scientists but also we have a lot of projects with companies so it's important for our team because it, it allows us to make larger group of people because it gives us money. It gives us a broader perspective okay? because they are paying us for solving some problems they have and then knowledge gained there we can use for scientists. Okay? So it's a really, really nice idea. Our idea of Clarin uh, is that, that everything as much as possible should be open. Open source, open data set, etc. Okay, companies usually work just vice versa. They want to solve a problem and they have proper tools. But uh, we are trying in projects and with success uh, to force companies. Okay, we will help you. We will help to solve your problem. You need us, but make one of these tools we have developed open or make, uh, uh, for example, some corpora open. We have such experience 
I think it is very interesting because uh, it solves and gives us much more money to keep larger group of people then we are really flexible to solve uh, clearing problems raised by scientists from, uh, from humanists and social scientists. Humanists in general are not aware about NLP and how it could help them. I have a dream connected with Clarin that sometime in the future, whenever scientists will work with text, they will use tools developed by us and the tools will be easy for them to be used. So I hope that people will be not afraid Maybe a phrase not a good word would be aware that such tools exist on the market and that they could be useful for them. Okay, and the, and and other sub dreams that there will be a lot of open source corpora with well marked data on different problems, a lot of tools and the knowledge about NLP.